Magandang araw po sa lahat. Sa mga hindi pa nakakilala sa akin, ako po ay si Ginoong Bichelle Escanyala, isang math 6 teacher ng Paknaan Elementary School, Mandawi City, Cebu. Ang tatalakay natin ngayon ay tungkol pa rin sa fractions. Sa mga nagtatanong kung ano ang fraction at ang mga ori nito, may link po ako sa baba sa my description. Pakipanood lang po and let's learn together. Tara, let's go! Ang tatalakay natin ngayon ay ang multiplying fractions using cancellation method. May isang video na rin ako dyan tungkol rin sa multiplying fraction. Pero, gagamitin natin ang cancellation method para mas mapadali ang pag-multiply ng fractions at makuha natin agad-agad ang lowest form. So, ito ang dalawang advantages ng multiplying fractions using cancellation method. Pero may prerequisite ito. Una, kailangang memorize or familiarize mo ang multiplication table 1 to 10. Pangalawa, memorize mo rin or familiarize mo rin ang greatest common factors ng mga numero. Tara, let's continue! The given are 9 tenths times 2 thirds. So let's multiply 9 tenths and 2 thirds. So let's get the product. Using cancellation method, here comes the solution. 9 tenths times 2 thirds. Una, kokonin mo ang GCF ng 9 at saka 3. The GCF of 9 and 3 is 3. So, yung GCF na yan ang gagamitin mo sa pag-divide ng dalawang numero na nasa loob ng oval. 3 divided by 3 equals 1. So, kailangan i-cancel natin yan para halatang na-divide na natin yan by GCF. So, the answer is 1. 9 divided by 3 equals 3. So, kailangan i-cancel din yan para may may Alam natin kung siya ay na-divide na. How about the GCF of 10 and 2? The GCF of 10 and 2 is 2. So, the GCF is 2. So, 10 divided by 2, cancel din natin ang 10, equals 5. 2 divided by 2, cancel din natin ang 2, equals 1. So, yung mga numero na natira, yung color red, ay kailangan natin i-multiply. Okay, kasi we are finding the product. 3 times 1 equals 3. 5 times 1 equals 5. So, mayroon na tayong product. Ang tamang sagot, ang product na dyan, ay in lowest form. So, equals 3 fifths. So, napakadali ang pagkuha ng product or of multiplying simple fractions using cancellation method. Sana may natutunan kayo sa simpleng video. The given number 2. 14 over 21 times 5 over 20. Or 14 21st times 5 20. Here comes the solution. 14 over 21 times 5 over 20 or 5 twenties. As you've noticed, we can have or we can simplify 14 over 21 which is their GCF is 7. So we can simplify first 14 over 21. Let's divide first 21 by GCF which is 21 divided by 7, the answer is 3. 14 divided by 7 
The answer is 2. Then 5 over 50 can also be divided by 5. Because 5 and 20, their GCF is 5. Then, again, you can only use cancellation during, I mean, vertically and slantly or X form, not horizontally. So, 20 divided by 5 equals 4. 5 divided by 5 equals 1. And then again, you cannot divide, I mean, you cannot cancel numbers horizontally. So, X form, as you notice, X form, 2 and 4 can be divided into 2. Because 3 and 1 cannot be divided. I mean, there is no greatest common factor or GCF. So, the GCF of 2 and 4 is 2. So, we can use this GCF to simplify 2 and 4. 4 divided by 2 equals 2. 2 divided by 2 equals 1. So, we have now the last, no, the smallest form, the one third and one half. So, multiply the numerators is 1 times 1 equals 1. The denominators 3 times 2 equals 6. So, this is now our final answer in lowest form. So, kung if asyado rang mabilis, pwede na itong ulit-ulitin. Just follow the procedures. Our final answer is 1, 6. So, hopefully, may natutunan kayo at pwede na itong paulit-ulitin panoorin. Sa simpleng video ito, sana nakatulong po sa inyo multiplying fractions using cancellation method. Salamat po sa panonood.